you this is a PL statement and let me select my total revenue here i've selected the cell i go to smart analysis and this contribution is nothing but if you are a finance professional you know this by the name of a vertical analysis so when i click on this it automatically highlights that particular row and it calculates every line item as a percentage of total revenue so which means my cost of sales is about 75 percent of total revenue my sgna and operating cost is 20 percent of total revenue my income before taxes is 3.68 percent of total revenues and even a net sales membership income is 0.7 percentage of total revenues and so forth and this kind of a computation can become very complex because we are taking a particular cell as a benchmark and then doing this even though it's a separate column uh, these are cell level uh, changes and that's why uh, you have that here the second example i'm going to show you you see this other item called variance and I will show you what this is with another example. So we have monthly data here. We have two categories, beverages and water. Uh, you can see that definitely beverages has a higher revenue. And you can see that it also fluctuates a little bit more wildly, which is expected because in the summer months, you tend to sell more beverages. But water is not that high, but you see the demand for water. Yes, it fluctuates, but not as much as beverages. Now, I want to take, let's say, this month as reference and i go to insert and i click on smart analysis and this time i do variance right so what it does is it sets the benchmark value for january as zero percentage and again this is all within beverages similarly for water zero percentage refers to your january value and you take any month for example you look at april you see there is a 31 percent increase in april compared to the jan value and similarly for water there is a 13 percent increase over the january value Similarly, July has seen a 70% increase, again, directly comparing July to January, right? Whereas you see the largest deviation comes in June for water, which is about 21%, right? Now, the nice thing is you see an indication of seasonality here looking at this, but it's very hard to look at the season. It's not impossible, but it's a little bit harder to understand seasonality here. And you can easily see that it peaks up to 70 and then it comes down. Same thing for water as well, right? Again, these are minor things. And, and because it behaves like a measure, even if you have a column hierarchy, right? It's, it's going to replicate within that particular uh, hierarchy, right? I could have easily taken out beverages and water, but it makes sense to see seasonality by category. And this is where uh, the smart analysis is going to help. You.